It will be recalled that following an upsurge in the snatching of exotic cars, especially in the southwest axis of the country in April this year, police carried out intelligence operations which revealed that Hamani Tijani and his agents were the masterminds of such robbery escapades perpetrated by cross-border armed bandits from the Republic of Benin. General of Police Tafa Balogun and the Ogun State Police Commissioner spoke on the choice of Ogun State for the trial. At Abelkuta in Ogun State, most of the, many of the offenses occurred around Abelkuta. So we are likely going to start the prosecution from there. And as the situation warrants, we are going to change venue if it becomes necessary. Uh, you know Ogun State. Uh, is a place where he perpetrated most of the criminal activities. You know the very nature of uh, the state itself. I didn't hear. So tell us what happened. What didn't bring you come for this issue? My brother go collect money for my mom. So how will country concern you? He said I did, but I no report to my mom. Hmm? I did, I did there, but I don't report to my mom. How much did this money where your brother go carry? Eight hundred thousand. Yeah, one share where your brother gave you. He said give me hundred thousand, but I don't say anything. Hmm? He said she will give me hundred thousand, but I don't say anything. You don't say anything. Mm -hmm. So your brother carry everything good. Mm -hmm. He gave my husband. How much? He said two fifty thousand. How old is your mother? Sir. How old is my mother? 83. 83, yeah. 83. My wife's brother came to me. So, for me, he came to me. So, he contacted me that as uh, my in law did, he get money, but no sponsor the child. He contacted me, say, by Thursday, we will go arrange a boy, go meet by my uh, mama. Say them be higher killer. So them be higher killer. They don't collect money from somebody to come and kill mama. I'll then see mama as oh so. So they'll say that's why they know kill mama again. They give them money. I say how much you collect from mama. It can't I swear to Almighty God, you can't tell me, say three hundred thousand naira room. In the morning, early in the morning by eight o'clock, he come with one friend, one in friend, come to my room. So it contacted, it contacted me say, this is the friend that you arrange for that business. Which business? For that thing, um, for, to collect money from Mama, then beg me. So I drive them, go to Baggy. Ah. I drive you go to Baggy. When you go, go do there, you say Mama by himself, say you want to collect money for them. But that day, you come to my house. He give me one hundred fifty thousand. Give my wife hundred thousand. That's why I know say the money don't pass three hundred thousand. As you tell me, I can't tell my wife. Say may we use the money by bus. If I ride bus, I'll gather money from there, give to her, start a business. So. Crime fighters promoting security consciousness. I am Sunday Bada. Deputy Superintendent of Police, three time Olympiad, uh, Olympic silver medalist, 1997 world champion. Uh, my advice to the youth is to stay off crime. They should try to spot an activity as a way of making a livelihood instead of taking to crime. There's a lot of sports which they can go into to stay away from the street. These have made a lot of us what we are today and uh, they should also take clue from people like Kano Wanko or uh, Okocha who play football and they are what they are today. Uh, so my advice to the youth is to stay off crime uh, as crime is not a good means of making uh, it in life. If you know any criminal or you have useful information that will help the police solve a crime, please phone the police immediately. Help make our society a safer place for all. Thank you.
crime fighters exposing the antics of crime and crime. Jin 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 Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Crime Fighters. Today we have in our midst Dr. Frederick Fashion. Of course you all know him. He's a popular man in our society, a man that has contributed immensely to our social development. He is a human rights activist and the founder of Odwa People's Congress. And we also have Mr. Chris Olagbe, the first public relations officer. You've heard him talk severally on issues relating to police force and how the present Inspector General of Police, Tafal Balubu, is trying his best to move the Nigeria police force beyond what he had met. <laughs> Dr. Fashion, we are going to take the first question. Like, what is your assessment of the Nigeria police force in the last one year? Uh, well, the last one year has seen the change in the policing system in this country. Uh, principally because you have new hands at the end of affairs, and these new hands are uh, the human managers. Uh, take the Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, for instance. Lagos State is probably the greatest center of crime. Uh, and criminality in Nigeria, but see the relatively pervasive uh, peace now. Uh, of course, it's not the making of the Commissioner of Police, it's through him. Uh, the or orientation as preached by the uh, Inspector General seems to have percolated down the whole gamut of the police, and we hope and pray that. Uh, we continue along this track. Uh, you will agree with me that uh, the crime rate has gone down. Uh, the civil society is now aware of its own uh, uh, primary role, and the police also have become less hostile uh, to the contributions uh, available from 
Uh, the civil society. I think the change has been tremendous on its coming level. Yeah, if I may take you on, on 